Welcome back. I'm Dan. And I'm Nathan. Today we're going to be showing you how to get lat longs using the Google Maps API for all the cities in that data frame that we've been building over the last few videos. Let's go exploring like Lewis and Clark back with you. All right, so um, the first thing we're going to do is we've got this data frame. Uh, we're going to just load um, load it from that file we saved in a previous video. In a previous video, we showed you how to uh, take a pandas data frame and save it to a file. And here we're just going to be loading it up, and we're going to be calling it df. Um, so to get a list of all the cities, all the unique cities in this uh, data frame of, um, of Craigslist data, one way to do that is to specify um, the column that we want to uh, query, and then we'll do a dot unique and put in parentheses, and that'll that'll spit out an array of, uh, of all our cities, of all the cities, and we'll just I'll uh, I'll call that uh, city list and set that equal to uh, to that. So that's our variable there. Now we're gonna have to do a for loop to iterate over all the cities in this list that we just created. Um, and inside this for loop, we're going to have a fair number of things to do. So we'll just start off with the outline of our for loop with or place in city list. So taking it city by city, we're just going to go. Um, the first part is to take care of all of our cities. Some of them are multiple cities with um, a slash in the middle of them to separate the cities. But we don't necessarily care about the dead center between the two cities, so we're just going to take the location of the first city in those combinations. Yeah, what happens sometimes when we're querying the Google API, as we were testing this beforehand, um, we found that it somehow sometimes had some issues with a, when it had a slash in between two cities. Um, and so, so what, what we're going to do here is just do a just do a temporary fix just to get us sort of a close result. Uh -huh. We'll just use the string method split to split along that that slash. slash. Um, and then we'll just take the first city. And just take the first city. Doing the first index. So that's uh, that, that's so that'll get us there. the first city if there's multiple cities. But if there's not, then it'll just give us a full, full length as is. Um, the next step here that we came across is there are a couple locations that didn't quite work out by sending it to Google. Um, one of those examples is the Florida Keys. It couldn't quite, the geocoding um, API couldn't quite determine what the Florida Keys were. So we're going to put in a try accept here. And on the accept part, we're going to actually set the latitude longitude to not a number, but for the try part, we're going to deal with actually getting the results for all the other cities, basically. So if you haven't run across try and accept, uh, they're pretty simple. We, we'll do a video about them in the future, um, but basically uh, it's a way of, of handling Python exceptions. So you'll try this bit of code, and if you run into a, a certain exception or error, do this other thing. Um, and so what we're going to be doing here is just geocoding. Um, we'll call this geo from our gmaps object. This was done in a previous video, so if this doesn't fully make sense, feel free to jump back and watch that video. Um, so I'm just typing this out. Uh, lat long equals geocode, and we're going to be taking geometry. And these are just tags from... Uh, the location. XML, and don't forget that zero line above. Thank you. All right, and if we run into an index error, we want to take the following action. That index error, error is from that zero that I just mentioned. Basically, when Google can't find a result for us, it sends us back an empty list, and an empty list, of course, does not have a zero index. And so we're just going to pass in a latitude and longitude of none um, so that later on it doesn't give us values that are incorrect or anything. We can clearly correct those later down the road just by searching for the latitudes with none. Um, in this step, we're going to be doing a little bit more work with the data frame. So, so now that we got the latitude and longitude, we want to actually store it into the cities that we... Um, 
are associating it with. So we're going to be for for this data frame, we're going to be locating every um, uh, we're going to be locating every row where the column city is equal to the place name from the for loop up here, um, and then in a column called lat, we will be storing the um, the. Uh, the latitude the, value that we just pulled. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we haven't previously created a lat, lat and lon, longitude uh, column yet, but py, um, pandas will actually just do this on the fly and create a new column as it needs to. All right, so I think actually we're where we need to be in our for loop. Um, so we'll just so give we'll this a run. This will take a little bit of time because we do have about 413 cities. But after we get back, we'll Once just jump ahead and uh, we while we're while we're waiting for this to go, we do just want to mention that if you do this enough, you will run it run up against some of the API limits that Google sets. So, for instance, for the Google Maps API for the free. Uh, free tier of their service. Uh, I think the limit's at 2,500 or so requests. So we're going to be okay with these 400 or so. But as soon as you start uh, doing a ton of these, you're going to run into some some issues right. there. That's one reason why we wanted to pull out the city unique, the unique cities initially. We didn't want to go through line by line and do all 8,000 rows that we have because that just wouldn't quite work in a yeah. day. Mm -hmm. oh, shoot. It's okay. Oh. So we did get a little bit of an attribute error. It's okay. Um, the la For whatever reason, the last uh, item in our list of cities is, is a, not a number. It's not a string. So uh, it just had an error. But for the other um, cities, in the, uh, for the actual cities in our data frame, we, we now have um, some information. So you can see Jackson, Mississippi. Now we have a lat long associated with um, with with that city. So if we can see multiple cities just quickly here. If we do a df dot group yeah. by and then we want to group them by city and then we'll do dot head and just do one of each. We'll give us one from each city and sure enough we have just to verify we do have different latitude and longitudes for each city. So well, good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we're excited to get, move forward with putting these uh, putting these places on a map and and uh, and going that route. Join us next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. -bye.